iOS 18.5 has just been released globally and it's available for all users to update right now. To get the update, just go to your device's settings, then tap General and Software Update. Along with iOS 18.5, updates for iPadOS 18.5, watchOS 11.5, macOS, TelevisionOS and HomePodOS have also been rolled out. So if you use any of those devices, make sure to check for updates as well. Depending on your current version, the update size can vary between about 1 gigabyte to over 7 gigabytes. One of the key updates in iOS 18.5 is the improved parental controls for screen time. Parents will now get notifications whenever their child enters their screen time passcode, whether it's to request more time or disable restrictions. The Apple Television app has also received an upgrade, making it easier to purchase content. Now, you can buy movies and shows on third-party devices like Samsung or LG TVs and verify your purchase using your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch or Mac. Connectivity has also been enhanced with the addition of satellite features for the iPhone 13. This new capability supports satellite connectivity through carrier services like Starlink, although it doesn't include the emergency SOS feature, which is only available on the iPhone 14 and later models. The update also brings a new dynamic pride wallpaper. This wallpaper shifts colors and patterns when you unlock your phone or when the always-on display is active, and it pairs well with the new Pride Apple Watch band and face. In the accessibility settings, a new option has been added for backtap. Users can now choose to show or hide a banner when backtap is triggered, offering more customization for how the feature behaves. For those who use the Mail app, you'll notice a small but useful change. There's now a preview for the All Mail section in the corner of your inbox, making it easier to see categorized mail. Uh, another area that's been redesigned is the Apple Care and Warranty section. The new interface provides clearer details about coverage, including accidental damage and 24-7 support, and lists device-specific information such as serial numbers and model details. There are also several bug fixes in this update. Apple Vision Pro users will notice that the black screen issue when launching the app has been fixed and CarPlay has seen improvements, resolving issues related to music, playback and connectivity. Micro stutters when scrolling, especially in third-party apps, have been mostly resolved and the notifications animation is now smoother. Performance benchmarks show a slight fluctuation with Geekbench scores around 3,453 for single core and 8,448 to 8,582 for multi-core. Battery life has improved over previous versions. Should you update? Absolutely, especially if you're looking for bug fixes and security patches. The new features, including satellite connectivity for iPhone 13 and enhanced parental controls, are worth checking out. If you're a beta user though, it's recommended to wait for the stability improvements that should come with later beta releases. Looking ahead, iOS 18.6 is expected to be released soon with possible updates to Apple Intelligence for China. As for iOS 19, we can expect a preview at WWDC in June 2025 with the full release likely aligned with the iPhone 17 launch in September. So what are your thoughts on the new features and improvements? Feel free to share your experiences with the update in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching.